Yo, yo, welcome back to the channel, guys. Crypto Bullseye here, and we've got a new playlist edition again for you guys. This one's called Next Week in Crypto, and we're going to go through the macro markets to find out what we need to happen to finally get that altcoin surge. So altcoins are lagging. You can tell that by the total three. Crypto markets started to gain confidence over the last six months, but the not enough confidence to get into the altcoins. So what do we need to happen? Bitcoin's rallying. Ethereum's running behind it. What do we need to happen for the altcoins to finally, finally, finally get that pump that we've all been waiting for? So we'll be looking at the total one, two, and three. We'll be looking at the DXY. We'll be looking at some altcoin picks from you guys for the week and the strength of the USDT in crypto. It's people going back into stable coins is what we're talking about. So let's get into the video, guys. Stay tuned right to the end. start with Bitcoin and this thing is an absolute beast. It's just taken out resistance after resistance after resistance going back since it's low in 21st November 2022. So it went down to 15,576 and this is the Binance chart trading against USDT on the daily. So we've broken this. What I said previously was we wanted to come back and retest this as support. Nothing's changed here. We still want that to happen. But Bitcoin done its own thing. It broke through this resistance level here, 28,369. It broke straight through there, which was the previous low of this move, which acted as a strong base going forward before ultimately we broke to the downside and started the 276 day range. So we've been trading in this range for some time now. And the next resistance level for Bitcoin is going to be the 31,886. Between 31,886 and the highs of this previous move here, 32,331. So that's what we're looking for on Bitcoin. I prefer it to come through, test this as support, like we said, and then get a bit of confidence in the rest of the market. Once we've got support at this level, and we can see that Bitcoin's made that higher low and continued its move to the upside, we can see the altcoins rally on the back of that. So that's what we're looking for on Bitcoin. If we look for the dominance, you can see that Benjamin Cohen's been talking about this quite a lot. And we've hit a major, major, major resistance level on this dominance. And we've had a reaction. Strength for Bitcoin, we popped our header and we hit this new high from the range that's been going on for nearly two years now, 48.92% we got up to, which took out the previous high here, took out the previous high here, but then we were rejected after that. So we've got rejection. Is that a bad thing or is that a good thing for crypto? Apologies for the lag in. We've got a bit of internet issues today, but I'm going to try my best to carry on and give you the best information that I can. So we've had a rejection. This is the daily chart. One, two, three, four, bearish candles and they're all creating new lows, new lows, new lows. So they're all engulfing the previous candles and that's showing strength for the rest of the altcoins. Because don't forget, the more that Bitcoin eats away at this, the more that the higher this goes, the more money it's taken out the rest of the crypto market. So strength in dominance usually means weakness in the rest of the altcoin market. As far as history is concerned, anyway, guys, as far as history is concerned. So we'll have a quick look at the DXY next. So the DXY strength in the dollar is their strength in the dollar. We're at a major support level here after this downturn. And what we want to see is a drop of this support level here. We want to see this dropped. And then a move to the downside after this acts as resistance. One, two, we've had three touches here. We want this to act as resistance. A move to the downside means a good move for the altcoins in the crypto market. People coming out of the dollar, de-risking and going back on risk again. Crypto is on risk. Crypto is speculative. It's early. People don't go into there in times of fear. So weakness in the dollar, strength in crypto. And you can see the same thing with USDT as well. So as soon as the chart finally comes on, here we go. USDT, major support level here. So this is the strength in the dollar in crypto. So 
everyone floods into USDT and stable coins when they're de-risking out of crypto. When they think there's going to be a dump in crypto, they'll go into stable coins. It's pretty much the only thing people trade with. So this has acted as support one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times strong support. If we do get a rally to the upside to test this 200 daily moving average, that's going to take a few days, guys. That'll be a pullback in the crypto market if that happens. So we're going to look at total three next, total three. And what can you see from this chart? One thing that I see here clearly is an inverse head and shoulders, an upside down head and shoulders. And what does an upside down or an inverse head and shoulders or a head and shoulders pattern tell us? There's a high probability of these patterns playing out. And there's a reason that there's a high probability of these patterns playing out. Because remember, crypto is just a bunch of people trading, buying and selling that are either greedy or fearful at certain periods of time. So what is this head and shoulders telling us? One thing, we're, move, we're, we're coming from a move to the downside. We're creating a lower low. We've come back up. We've created a lower high. So we're continuing this move to the downside. The bears are regained momentum here. Move to the downside. What have we done here? This is the head. This is the left shoulder. This is the head. What's happened here? The bears have regained momentum, creating a new lower low. Move to the upside. How high is this move? How deep is this move to the upside? It's tested the previous high, showing strength from the bulls. Bears regain momentum. Now, this is the important factor here between a head and shoulders pattern. There's two metrics that make sense from here. There's two metrics that are important to look for in an inverse head and shoulders pattern. So you created this bottom right shoulder. What does this tell you? You've created a higher low. So now we've come back, retested the neckline on total three. This is a total market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. We've come back up. And we've retested the neckline. If we break this neckline, all the stops are up here. All the stops, all the stops are going to get hit. And this is the whole of the to this is a whole of the crypto market, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. So it's all of the altcoins. Stops are going to get hit, and the altcoins are going to rally. That's what we're looking for. If the inverse head and shoulders breaks to the upside, you'll see a surge in altcoin. That's one thing that we're looking at this week. And you can see when you stick total two. On the charts, this is the whole of the crypto market, but this excludes Bitcoin. It's a little bit further ahead. So add Ethereum to the mix, and you can see that we've already had that breakout of this inverse head and shoulders pattern showing strength for uh, total two. We're not quite there with the altcoins. We're there with Bitcoin. We're there with Bitcoin and Ethereum. We're not quite there with the rest of the altcoins. So you can see with total one, this is where risk management comes into it because people dip their toe in water to go into the least risky asset. The least risky asset is the one that's got the biggest dominance, the biggest market cap, the big daddy in crypto, which is Bitcoin. So people go into Bitcoin first and you can see from the last six months when Bitcoin made its low, the total market cap has just gone up and up and up. And that's because it includes the dominance of Bitcoin within that. So the rest of the market is lagging. Gonna have a look at a couple of alts if the charts permit because it's taken a long time it is lagging and i do apologize i'm going to get it sorted for the next video for you guys um but we'll have a quick look at ethereum okay so i've got ethereum up trading on the daily against usdt and i'm sorry guys this is going to have to be the last one my um, my internet's not allowing for it i'm trying i'm trying my best on this but it's uh it's taken some time but the main thing is on ethereum we spoke about this on the shanghai video this was the high that we needed to take out on Ethereum. This was the high of the build up to the 2.0 merge. Lots of things could have happened. It was a case of buy the rumor, sell the news. Is this going to be a case of buy the rumor, sell the news? Because the bulls have regained momentum by breaking this high. What is that telling us from a psychological perspective? It means that all the people that staked their Ethereum after the merge, after the 2.0 upgrade, when it went from proof of work to proof of stake, they've held it in there. And the new money has broke this previous resistance level. And is it going to act as support going forward? That's the main thing. If this acts as support going forward and we manage to break, break this previous high sitting at $2,118, if we manage to break that previous high, it's going to regain momentum. It's going to give confidence in the rest of the market. Bitcoin starts ETH 
follows, the rest of the market follow with it. So that's what we're looking for. We want confidence in Bitcoin. We want confidence in Ethereum. And then we can get confidence in the altcoins. So hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Sorry, I couldn't get to all of your altcoin picks. If you are new to this channel, guys, and you did find any of this content useful, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell because you'll be notified when we drop the new episodes. We've got three new playlist editions coming out. We've got a new structure to the channel. So don't forget to hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter at bullseye for crypto And we've got a brand spanking new Telegram channel, guys, where we can all chat together. We can all chat about crypto, the markets, life, whatever it is you want to talk about. Get yourself in there. Link in the description below. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and enjoy the week ahead, guys. Take care from me.